To replace the rotary hook and set the hook timing, first remove the needle plate and the rotary hook base covers. Rotate the manual operating handle to locate the three screws on the base of the rotary hook. Two of the screws are flush, and the third sticks out from the base. Loosen all three screws, starting with the one that sticks out. To remove the hook support, first loosen the screw on the left side, but do not remove it completely. Then remove the right screw, swing the lever to the side, and slide the rotary hook off. Install the new hook by sliding it onto the shaft. Be careful not to scratch the rotary hook point as you slide it on. Scratches on the rotary hook will cause fraying and thread breaks. Hold the hook with the hook point facing up and turn the manual operating handle to bring the needle down. Watch carefully as the needle starts to rise and position the hook on the middle of the scarf of the needle. Pull the hook back until the hook point is touching the needle and lightly tighten the one accessible screw. Tap the rotary hook back to achieve a gap of 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters. Use either a feeler gauge or a number 14 needle rotated 90 degrees to make sure the gap is correct. When using the number 14 needle, the hook point should be slightly touching the needle. It is ideal to average the gap with the first and last needles before tightening the remaining screws. Favor 0.3 millimeters when sewing caps to avoid needle breaks. Then tighten the screws on the rotary hook, turning the manual operating handle to access each screw. Next, you will need to adjust the rotary hook support. Turn the inner hook basket until the notch is facing directly up, slide the rotary hook support back into place, and lightly tighten the two hook support screws. Position the hook support so the finger is halfway into the notch on the rotary hook. Then tighten the rotary hook support screws. Next, reinstall the needle plate. Place the needle plate onto the needle plate bracket and make sure the positioning pin on the right side is in place. Install the screws. Then, install the two rotary hook base covers. Finally, perform a manual thread trim.